Welcome to the Crazy Don Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, you got something for me today. You've been do. coming with a fire the last couple weeks. Well, I'm, you know, I've been putting some effort in this way. I feel good. I feel great. It hey. feels good to, to look at stories and a lot of interesting things that have been happening in our world. And, you know, I feel strongly about a lot of them. You feel good. I feel good. Yeah, good. And yeah. I, you know, I hope the listeners feel Want good. The big as well. homie to always feel good, you know? Yeah, the big homie. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to never call me that ever again. You have absolutely said that to me. I know. I know. I'm just joking with you. Yeah, uh, I'll still so never say it again. I'm sorry. There sorry. was a, a monumental feat that happened over last or this week. Actually, the last cold week. fusion. Last week, it was not cold fusion. Okay. Though, if you know that story, we need to bring that up immediately. They did that in the. Oh, I don't want to spoil it. All right. So the Polaris Dawn mission took a firm step into the future on Thursday morning okay. when two private citizens, Jared Isaacman and Sarah Gillis, briefly ventured outside of their Dragon spacecraft. Although each only spent about eight minutes outside of the capsule, the spacewalk was unquestionably a major success for SpaceX and the four. Astronauts flying in orbit. This well, marked, yeah, there's only four people on the plane, and two of them got out. Yeah, it was a little spaceship. Okay. This marked the first time that a private company, SpaceX, conducted a spacewalk, funded by Isaac Men, who is like a billionaire entrepreneur. Oh, uh, okay. Um, the mission spurred a frenetic two-year period of spacesuit development, testing, and and simulations by the California company to reach Thursday's remarkably smooth operations. So it went off without a hitch. They were out of the, out of the ship for eight minutes, walked around, which well, is yeah, like... floated around, I guess, yeah. I mean, bro. Matt, dude, can you imagine just like... Because like you're, you're gravityless, so if somebody just like pokes you, you're just like... Ah. You just drift away. Just, just te- you're just depending on the ch- tether. That's whatever. Oh got yeah, you. yeah. Oh my god, no, I don't like it. Uh, I don't. It, it, it gives me anxiety, but I want to do dude, it, dude. Oh I my also god. want to do it. I forgot. This is uh, this is sim- off topic, but similar. I, you know, I don't usually get cringed out or have like weird, creepy feelings. Like even talking about getting lost in space, I don't mm-hmm. feel that. Mm-hmm. I saw a video of a man like doing that like cave crawl shit, where he's like he's in like a He's in like a six inch space in between two rocks and he's like, Mm-mm. I can't even Mm-mm. talk Mm-mm. about it without getting anxious. Are you, you, he, he was like, he was all like, oh, I'm breathing in real deep to get through it. And he was just like, like moving in this like space that's like barely big enough for his body. And just the thought of getting trapped in that rock and then you're Mm-mm. done and you're stuck there till you die. Mm-mm. Oh my God. Was, it it was, makes me so uneasy. Was it you who was, who was talking about Nutty Putty Cave? No. Have you ever heard of Nutty Putty Cave? Nutty Putty Cave? We're, I mean, we're not talking about that right now. Um, <laughs> I, I would suggest that you look it up with discretion. We're going to talk about the space okay, sector. Anyway. I don't want to. I don't want to get into that because it it will overshadow this entire <laughs> monument. This is important. <laughs> all right, this should happen. We are literally taking need, spaceships in the orb. No, don't look it up I know now. I need to text it to myself oh, so yeah, I don't forget fair, about that's it. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Either way, yes, that is an irrational fear of mine as well, and it will prevent me from ever going into a cave, the Nutty Putty Cave experience. Uh, going into space, man, like, this is this is beautiful that it's happening, that SpaceX is sending ships up, like, on a regular basis, it seems, because they yeah. had the one failure that happened a little while ago where they couldn't send... Uh, they actually imputed them from sending help to the uh, the stranded astronauts. But that's different than like just going into orbit and coming down. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. It's but different. they're still doing like the commercial flights. I think it's a different ship. Yeah. yeah. This was a dragon one, and the guy's a billionaire, and he's like an avid pilot or whatever. So he's always been a fan of aviation. And when you got infinite money, yeah, I'd like to go into space. Yeah, I'll help pay for it. Yeah, I want to dance around outside the ship too. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. How <laughs> it's many only going to cost me two hundred and fifty million. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, I know, dude. He's probably, I don't know how old the guy is, but I want to be his best friend. I mean, I'll take any Miss, billionaire. Mr. Isaacman, friend. if you're listening right now. I'm sure he is. My cash app is <laughs> TNT Dynamite well, 777. Why do you want him to be your friend? You're supposed to say, hey, you sound. You seem like a really cool guy. We should go get some tuna. I'm just saying, it's like, we. you should fund me and we should hang out. You should fund me. You should fund me I'm to sure hang out. I'm sure he wants a uh, person to pay to hang out. I was just giving him the information because I can't fly to him. I don't even know I feel like at. if he's going to pay anyone to hang out with him, it's going to be like a hot woman. He probably does pay hot women to hang out. I feel out. like if I was a billionaire, Jonas, 
I might just like see somebody on in the internet and like just be like, that's a funny comment, and just like pick them like like they're on Amazon and be like, I'm gonna send them a thousand dollars. You made me laugh today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like I would do that ish. Like that would be some cool like, shit for like, billionaire man, this to do. Weird Instagram video made me laugh. Like, yeah. hey, what's your cash app? I want to send you a thousand dollars, bro. That'd be so. If cool. I had billions. I, like, I just think it'd be cool to like bless people like that. I mean, because to the average that, person, a thousand dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> I saw I saw a quote that said, "As I've gotten older, I've realized that a thousand dollars is not a lot to have, but a lot to owe." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's I not mean, a lot to have, but it's a lot of money to owe. Right? Yeah. No, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, and that's a real yeah, because it's like yeah. I mean, you have a thousand. I mean, you know, you get paid more than a thousand dollars every month. You know, yeah, yeah. and then, but it just literally just feeds right back out. You know, so yeah. if you but if you owe someone a grand, it's like oh shit. Exactly. Would yeah. You pay, would you pay a thousand dollars to go into space? A thousand? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's cheap. Oh, okay. That's cheap. I feel thousand, like, yeah, I do. It's, it probably like costs it. like 30 grand or more to yeah, go into space. Yeah. But a thousand? Yeah. They probably have to like spec a suit out for you or something. Like, I don't, oh, I yeah. think the whole suit thing, like that, that's billionaire status. I feel plan. like it's custom suits. Like yeah. they have a model, but they got to make your suit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't just use, like, I can't use your suit. And if it's a little big or small, I'll be like, oh, whatever. <laughs> like yeah. you're, you're like four inches taller than me. Be like, nah, that's cool. I'll take TNT suit. Like, <laughs> Like I don't think that's how it works. But it 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 is is it's truly amazing, man. Like they are literally sending people up in commercial spaceships. It's weird. This is the beginning of like like how Star Trek started out. Like if they were to do like a, a prequel to Star Trek, this would be it. It'd yeah. be small companies sending up spaceships, just going up, just going up and next you already see that um Mars has been a focus of Elon Musk. He's talking about the moon. The moon, Mars, he's talked a lot about um, colonizing Mars has been yeah. on the plate for astrophysicists. I've, I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson talk to people yeah, the problem who with specialize Mars. in building the structures that go onto these planets and building like the habitats and stuff. Yeah, the, well, the problem with Mars is that it, uh, it, it takes a long time Yes. To, to get to Mars. Yes. Yes. Even yes. at light speed or, you know, or whatever yeah. we're, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, it would take, it says a one, according to NASA, a one way trip to Mars would take nine, nine months. Nine so months. any materials that they need to send, any people, nine months, one way. I mean, but that's less than a year to be honest. It is a very long but time. For every, but like you can't, you yeah. can't put that much material on one ship. It has to be able to get up off the ground and yeah, go. Yeah. So what do you send in 40 ships at a time? Like with full of like raw, ma raw materials. And like, I mean, look, my man, if we're, we're you got to start somewhere, the spaceships that we send that the shuttles that we send up that are like, uh, go up in orbit. How long are they up there for? They're up there for an extended period yeah, of time. Yeah, but they have like a space station and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and they have a space station. And yeah, granted, they only have like four people, you know, per right. like trip up. But I'm just saying it's like we're going to get to a point where people are going to uh, have so much money that they're going to be able to build something that's going to accommodate that. I, I think it's just more of a it's more of an issue in when and not so much of like a like the question of can it be done it's more like a when will it be done yeah it says it takes three days for a spacecraft to reach the moon yep. so like i feel like building a moon base mm -hmm. is the first step before mars it's like can we get materials there can we build can we do with the yes okay we built a little base yeah. okay let's try mars now like I, I think that uh i think that it's already been discovered that the materials that are on mars are far more valuable than the ones that are on the moon yeah but or I, the moon would just be the focus they need to have a test though i agree i agree yeah i feel like the moon is just a giant rock crater that got stuck in our orbit like uh yeah but you know what's inside those things aliens diamonds gold titanium stuff oh. vibranium oh minerals and yeah, 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 yeah the stuff that is on the moon is it's insane well, apparently if it, it can't be that valuable or we would have just been drilling that b forever for six it takes years. nine months to get there and how you no, gotta oh, get mars there. you're talking about yeah, yeah that's what i meant on oh, mars yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, mars, yeah. yeah um the other thing i think that's really weird and this is what alon brought up mars. too we went to the moon in 1967 <laughs> okay our right. space program is leaps and bounds better 
It's like, well, first off, I'm like, how the hell did we even get there in 1967? That part. Okay. <laughs> how did we part. broadcast it? Like, yada, yada. Anyway. <laughs> that part live but, streamed but, but, it. But then the real, the real thing is in, what is it, 57 years. Mm -hmm. They've never wanted to go back. Mm. They're never like, let's take more. We have, we could literally get there in three days, drop a ship, get off, fly home. Like, why haven't we been back? It's so crazy that I, I just listened to a uh, an analysis on this and like like within the last couple of weeks and uh, there's no telescope that is powerful enough to see the flag on the moon. So there's been a lot of speculation in the community is that did we actually go? We believe that we went, but there's there's no one that believes that the technology at that time was sophisticated enough to go live stream and have everything work perfectly. So the whole idea of the sound stage and they the, only had a t they'd only had TV for like 10 years that's back what then. I'm saying. So like the whole idea behind like the, the people have made the whole point of like there being a sound stage and we we've seen the we've seen the fake. Yeah. So maybe they did do a recording. They did a TV recording of it, but they're they believe that they actually went. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's but just, you don't think we went? It's just, I mean, you call in, you want to go up to um, Patrick Armstrong. What's his name? <laughs> Neil Armstrong. Neil Buzz Armstrong. Aldrin, Buzz Aldrin. Neil Patrick Armstrong. Neil and Patrick tell him, Armstrong. He'll punch no, you in I mean, the face. I, don't, I mean, I, I mean, I believe we went. Whatever. I've seen him punch people in the face for saying that he faked it. Yeah. Oh yeah. He'll fuck you up. Yeah. He's eighty. He'll still fight you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, I just what I I don't whatever, man. It is what it is. I'm agnostic, I guess, about it. But like, I'm not. But I'm really the thing that it's just like why haven't we went back? Um, like that's the weird part. I imagine that it is due to the money. Now I don't know about the space programs in other countries. I know that there are some that are way more focused on it, but I don't know if anybody's doing it to the extent of having private. I don't think companies. anybody else has went to the moon either. So like we went once, and every other country's like, yeah, we good. Yeah, so there's nothing there apparently, right? But we, 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 we put a couple rovers on Mars, and now all of a sudden people are like, oh, we might need to go to Mars one day. <laughs> right. That's weird. Now, there is water on Mars. I'll give you that. But it's still kind of weird, right? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It so, is, yeah, uh... why would billionaires all of a sudden be in, in – like, I, I'm a firm believer in that we do not have all the information, and we never will. We don't meet the tax bracket to have all the information. Nope. And it's nothing we could do with it anyway. You tell me there's a million dollars on Mars. I can't get there. I got to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So whatever, but it is still a beautiful thing, Jonas. One day we might see space. Me and you, buddy. Lifetime, but either way, me so. and you, buddy, we can make it. All right, I'll take so. my last money. Dollar. Last money and do it. So, yeah. anywho, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com. Subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh yeah.